I found it. <laughs> it surprisingly has a lot of room in this. You don't have to drive this home, send it. Got it. <laughs> to like put my arms on my knees while I drive it. It's got a really, it's got a really quick uh, steering rack in it, so it's only like two turns. It's like a go-kart. Uh -huh. So like you only turn the wheels and it's almost full lock. So. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is like a, a clown car. Like yeah. you could fit a bunch of dudes in here. You could pick it up, <laughs> sir. We, we, we've developed a little bit of a crowd here, everyone. Uh, <laughs> It does that. I to come here and look make, at it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't make a single gas stop from Canada all the way here without being crowded. You came from Canada? Yeah, we drove 18 hours. All right, we got to stop talking. <laughs> I come and I expect to see these crazy builds and these crazy swaps never disappoints. It they really Ellis Fest just never disappoints. What the What is this? This is why? This is so cool. Why not? What year is this? This is a 1977 uh, Austin Mini. A uh, really popular car in Britain. They had them in Japan too, They up to like 2001, I think, in this body style. We got in this joke with my buddies that we were gonna put an LS in a golf cart to cruise around yeah. LS Fest. And then I kind of decided, I was like, well, why don't we do something bigger? I have a Chevette drag car that everybody says is really small and I'm really big and they thought it was funny. And I'm like, well, wait and see what I'll do next. Yeah. And so this is probably one of the smallest things you could ever keep put it in LS in. It's still stock wheelbase, stock body. I didn't want to chop out the wheel wells and stuff to make it look not like a mini kind of thing. Wow. So, so tell me about the motor. Uh, it's a 4.8 completely stock. Uh, it's got a big cam in it uh, just to make the noise. Holly EFI lower intake and then I made the adapter for the blower and the throttle bodies and it runs on a stock LS computer. Uh, it has a turbo 350 auto, three speed automatic trans and a Ford eight inch narrowed obviously eight inch rear end on leaf springs. So, so how, how much power? Uh, it probably makes about it's around 10 pounds of boost. It probably makes about 600 horsepower. It runs on methanol. That's a really big Aussie thing too so that the engine runs cool so you can just wail on it for a minute and a half or two minutes and it never even gets hot. So, because it doesn't have a cooling system. No, it does. It has a radiator. It's mounted underneath the car. What? That is so cool. So the, the drivetrain sits pretty high in the car and then between the frame rails underneath has a rad that lays flat and then it just pumps the coolant from the front and then I have a little reservoir to fill it in the back. So. Well, like if you run this thing on gas, it'll run at 200 degrees. If I run it on methanol, it runs at 120. How much does this weigh, you think? Probably 1,500 pounds and that's pushing it. How tall are you? Six, seven. And you fit in it just fine. Yeah, I build the car around me all the time when I build smaller cars or race cars and stuff. Like the biggest thing is you gotta be comfortable in it to a certain point. I just wanted to be able to fit in it and not be folded like a pretzel, so. Right. And it's kind of interesting, the wheel choice too. It not only fills the wheel wells, it basically takes the whole top. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like these cars came with 10 inch wheels. So 15s is like putting 26s on a regular car. <laughs> Everybody thinks it doesn't turn, but it'll turn full lock to lock without rubbing on anything. That is just awesome. What about the brakes? Is it stock brake? Uh, it's only got brakes on the front. That is just 
Of course, you got the hoodie. But the body's exactly how I got it. It's it's pretty banged up. There's bondo cracks and there's all that kind of stuff. But I didn't really want to mess with the body because I didn't want to try to make it better. I pounded out some dents, but that's about as far as I went with it. So it's got a eight gallon eight gallon fuel cell in it. That was the biggest one I could have because with methanol you use a ton of fuel, three times as much fuel as you normally do. Yeah. So that was a big thing. And then it's got fuel pumps mounted inside the tank instead because it takes up less space. Everything's a battle of space with this car. Like you you run out of space and if you forget something, you're not gonna have room for it later, right? You did all of this. Yeah. yeah. All the so, tunnel and everything. Yeah, so the tunnel is completely removable. It comes in and out. So everything you have to do, because the rad's mounted under there, all the lines are mounted under there, the water pump is under there, the tranny, tranny cooler. So like if I ever have to do anything, everything like the seats, the shifter even is on like a quick release and everything comes out if I have to access something, so. This, so this is a mailbox, huh? Yeah, that's a mailbox, like a newspaper mailbox. It was, I've had that idea in my head since I was 15 years old. I seen some old car craft or hot rod magazine that a guy did it. I'm like, one day I'm gonna use that idea. What a cool build. What a really insane build. I love that the gauges are mounted outside too. Yeah, that's how, like the idea of the car was kind of like 70s street machine, like with the wheels, piston shifter and all the mailbox and the big old school satin bare aluminum blower and stuff. That's like really a like late 70s street machine look, the center line type wheels. The funny thing to me is just looking how much bigger th <laughs> you are. Yeah. You're just so much bigger than the car. Yeah. I mean, you could basically pick it up. It looks like that. It looks like I should just grab it like, I should just grab it like this and go like that with it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And yeah. we cannot wait to see you do some serious Aussie style burnouts yeah, on this thing. I've never, like I've done two burnouts in it, just standing in place. This will be the first time I've actually beat on the car. So it might be a little bit of a learning curve, but I've done a lot of burnouts in my life, so. I don't doubt that one bit. We'll be there when you burn, burn off a set of tires on this thing. Yeah, what, co what happened with your steering wheel? I pulled <laughs> off. So the car whips so hard. The, for, that was the very first time I did it. The car whipped so hard, I was bracing myself with the steering wheel and it just popped off the quick release. God, just <laughs> popping off. Popping yeah. off all day, yeah. this guy. I did it twice. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Never lift, never pop off. Yeah. Never surrender. Yeah. I'm gonna weld that sucker on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>